So anyway, I think I'm going to change my direction on my YouTube channel again. I've been doing a daily vlog for, I guess this is the 10th episode. And, uh, well, I have been, I like, I love cinematography and videography or whatever you want to call it. So I've just been making videos that I enjoy making, but I don't know, it's kind of annoying getting you know, five views. So apparently the algorithm prefers when I post stuff about either my truck or car related stuff, you know. So I'm still going to continue doing the everyday episodes, but from now on it's going to be automotive related. And basically my challenge is I'm trying to um, basically do a, like Casey Neistat style vlogs, except now automotive, uh, for as long as I can. Might be a little challenging because I, uh, you know, like right now I'm at work <laughs> and I don't know, I just have a lot of stuff going on. I don't DoorDash anymore. Our, my DoorDash car blew up, but oh well. Oh my God, my hair looks rough. Okay. It's been raining all day. Anyway, I uh, my truck, as you may know if you've seen any of my, my previous videos, uh, has been running extremely rich. Not sure what that sound was. It came from my throat. I think what I'm going to do, because the Speedmaster carburetor that I bought is a race carb, very expensive. Really wish the vacuum didn't just start up, but anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to buy a cheapo what are they called it's basically an auto light replica from amazon right it's a factory carb except bigger than the factory carb uh version of what came on my truck so that would be nice i know that carburetor worked great all year didn't have to tune it or anything the speedmaster i love it loved it but it should have lasted longer, way longer. I My previous auto light car lasted six years with no issue at all. So unfortunately, since it seems like carburetors nowadays are throwaway parts, I'm just gonna buy a cheap carburetor instead of keep buying $400 carburetors like my Speedmaster. That's pretty upsetting because it does make a ton of power with that carburetor. It made a huge difference. But the original carburetor that was on the truck was 160 CFM versus almost twice as big, 350 CFM. So of course it makes a ton more power. I think I'm gonna go with a 1.14 inch Venturi 300, 300 CFM carburetor. So it's a touch smaller than the carb that's on it for two reasons. It will make a little more torque. And since I want to move, it will help my ability to tow stuff. And uh, also, because after I move, I want to get into stage rally and it doesn't need to be making as much power as it is. It's ridiculous. I mean, you know, when it's running perfect, it'll roast the tires from a 60 roll on pavement. God dang, knocking the tires off. That, that's too much for dirt racing, you know? So, yeah. Hopefully that'll happen soon. And tonight I'm getting the Cobalt back, which is the DoorDash car. I I think I mentioned earlier, basically the car, my dad's car that had just blown up not too long ago. So we're get, it's getting towed back here and I'll probably start pulling the engine apart and seeing what carnage happened. I'm assuming a chain reaction of shit happened. So that'll be fun. I'll probably do the next video. Maybe, I don't know.